So we're almost out of time. Um, there was so much more I wanted to ask everyone, but I feel we should leave it on this note. So this question is for everyone, for whoever wants to uh, speak up on it. What does it mean to be a woman in 2021? Wow, I can start. So, I mean, I think for me, um, you know, every time that I think about the fact that, you know, I, I don't think about being a woman without thinking about being a Black woman and what that means. And so I think that right now what it means is that really giving yourself the permission to unapologetically speak your truth. I feel like the world needs to hear from us so much more. And there's a larger percentage of the world listening, not everybody, not all the time, but the volume has definitely been turned up on the microphone. And I am really committed to using every single bit of the airtime to make sure that I'm creating space for more of the people who have been, um, you know, unjustly pushed out. Mm. Love it. Love it. Anyone else? That was so well said. <laughs> Right. Well she kind of spoke for all of us, right? <laughs> yes. We're like ditto, ditto, and more ditto on that one. Okay. So first of all, thank you all for joining. Um, we could, you know, like I said earlier, we could have spoken for a, another hour. Um, there's so much to unpack. We'll continue to to work together to uh, to unpack more. Maybe we'll do a follow up conversation. But to everyone that's listening today there are ways to support. So I do want to leave you with just some ideas, some thought starters that you can maybe apply back to your own organization, bring back to your, your managers. Um, you know, number one, recognize the value of diversity. Really recognize that there is power in difference. Uh, commit, to, commit to gender and racial equality. Ensure women and minorities are represented on boards and in senior management. Easier said than done. But if we have intention behind it, we will start to see the change that we seek. Um, address uh, preconceptions and stereotypes that contribute to this you know, glass ceiling. Um, match employees with suitable mentors. I believe in mentorship, it's so powerful. We need to continue that to provide just a personal level of support, not just professional support. Be inclusive with networking opportunities. Give all qualified applicants a chance to apply for a promotion. I encourage better in-house communication. It all starts with communication um, and trust. So try to foster an environment where people do feel that they can speak openly and honestly without you know, retaliation um, or even the perception of retaliation. Hold those in position of power accountable. You know, Kamala, you said that like, we, if we ignore it, then how can we expect to see, to see the change? we have to begin to hold those in power accountable um, and continue to do so. Be intolerant of discriminatory practices. There is no, oh, it wasn't that bad or, oh, you know, it'll go away. No, it's a, it's a full stop. Do not tolerate it. Um, and then also promote better work-life balance. I think the one thing that COVID-19 has taught us all as business, le business leaders is that we don't necessarily um, need to be in an office environment to be successful. Um, and that, you know, we can look at how this work and life balance is um, and, and make the necessary changes. Um, maybe someone that relocated to um, Ohio can still stay gainfully employed. Um, we don't necessarily have to have people in the right city and, and be conscious of the fact that time may be slipping from, with this work from home environment. So, you know, managers, make sure your people are taking time off, make sure they put in times for breaks. Um, and, you know, we can, we can work towards the change that we seek. So once again, thank you panelists for leaning in and being open and honest and transparent. And I also wanna thank everyone that took time out of their day to log on and be a part of this series. So with that being said, continue to be strong, continue to be safe, continue to be well, and to continue to break those glass ceilings. Thank, Thank you, you. Amani. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate it. Bye, Thank everyone. You.